Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase 10. If you've used Cubase long enough, you've probably noticed that the Steinberg plugins and instruments don't actually have a MIDI learn function. And you might ask yourself, where's the MIDI learn? Well, the thing is it does exist, but it's just by a different name. They call it uh, track quick controls and VST quick controls. And I think it's a little, confusing that they gave them the exact same name considering that they do two different things. And if you are confused, stay tuned because I'm gonna try to clear up MIDI Learn, Track Quick Controls and VST Quick Controls and Cubase for you, coming up. Let's do it. Okay, so we're here in Cubase and I'm gonna show you all how to map Track Quick Controls on a MIDI controller uh, real quick just in case you don't know how to do that. What you do is you go to your studio tab up here at the top, studio setup. And I think for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I will have the track quick controls be on these faders and I'll have the VST quick controls be on the knobs, just, just for the sake of argument. So in order to assign these to the faders, you have to click the learn and move it and then get to the next one, Ah, move it. This one, ah, move it. All right, so they're all assigned. All eight controls are assigned. Uh, and that's just sort of, you know, you learn, you, you click on what control you want, and you move the, wiggle the thing, and then, as you can see, it's just channel one through eight of CC7, which uh, is not best practices because CC7 is often MIDI volume, so it might interfere, but as long as you have quick controls on, I think that it actually uh, supersedes using that in any plugin. But you may not want to use seven, actually, um, let's see here. Actually, the MIDI uh, foundation, midi.org, will have a CC list of what manufacturers commonly implement. So I think instead of using seven, which is channel volume, uh, you might be better off using one of the ones that's uh, typically unassigned by a manufacturer, like nine or 14 or 15. Or, and you can find this list on midi.org. You can see the URL right here. Um, so that's that, and just keep that in mind. But for this, I think it shouldn't be a big deal if we use uh, channel seven for this tutorial. Uh, same thing with VST quick controls. Uh, we'll apply the changes. We're gonna map these to the uh, knobs up here, and we just do that by learning. Uh, learning, learning. Ah, got screwed up. Second knob, third knob, fourth knob, fifth knob, sixth knob, seventh knob, and eighth knob. Okay, good. So we'll apply that as well. So we have our track quick controls and VST quick controls applied. Uh, where do we go from here? Well, the track quick controls can control anything on the track. So that's any of these inserts, any of these channel settings, any of these sends, any of the fader amounts. Um, the track quick controls can do that. So last week I applied a wah pedal to a Rhodes. Uh, I can show you how to do that with track quick controls. So we just open up Guitar Rig here, and this is a third party plugin. And instead of doing a MIDI learn, what we do is we hit learn on the quick control. And in our first slot, we move this and we have the wah pedal. So we unlearn it, we turn on the wah pedal. Now this uh, first fader, since if we remember. <laughs> And if you want to use your expression pedal, your foot pedal for the wah, all you'd have to do is assign one of the quick controls to the wah pedal. So that's how to set up a wah. Now there's other things you can do with the track quick controls. Like if you're mixing and you always high pass your uh, guitars, you can have the high pass enabled on a plugin or something. So we can come in here and add, I don't know, a frequency or something. And uh, have this act activated, you know, you'd set this in your template to a cut 24 and then you could assign this Learn your second slot as uh, Frequency and then all of a sudden when you take learn off all of a sudden you're high passing Just automatically with a fader if you're doing this quickly 
you can assign high pass or low pass and uh, sort of mix a little bit more quickly if you're using the track quick controls. And uh, so frequency, since it's a Steinberg insert, it doesn't really have MIDI learn. Um, you can add it by parameter. So if you wanted to add the Q to slick uh, quick control slot three, it'll just go there. And so you could adjust the Q, uh, as you can see. So that's kind of nice, uh, not too shabby. So if you know what you're doing and you have your quick control set up, you can set them up in a template and they'll save. And uh, then they're easy to see here on the left-hand column. And you can do that for any parameter, uh, you know, send amount. So if we're gonna send to the reverb uh, in the track, is there a reverb? Vocal reverb, we turn it on, we can send uh, we haven't learned this. And so all of a sudden your fourth slot is the send level of your reverb right here. So as you can see, it works with everything. The only problem, the only limitation I see with quick controls is that you only get eight of them <clears throat> and that's all. So if you're trying to build out a guitar rig where you're stomping on, I don't know, two different types of distortion, maybe a fuzz, there's a compressor in there somewhere, a wah, a wah on and off, you can get up to eight really quickly. And uh, one thing you might want to do in that situation is not use the quick controls. I'll show you a different way to do this. You can add a MIDI track. Um, we'll call it guitar rig control. And the guitar rig control will route into the guitar rig on the Rhodes channel, Rhodes Guitar Rig 1. And then if you monitor this, then you can just use MIDI Learn on your guitar rig. So we'd have to turn quick controls off because they the two don't work together. Uh, but we can open up guitar rig and we could have this learn. And then we use this one in the first one. Let's use the one on the end here. So you can just use MIDI Learn if you route a MIDI track into a plugin, and then you can have as many MIDI assignments as you want if you're using MIDI tracks for that. But we'll just abandon that for now. That's just a bonus tip. And let's move on to the VST quick controls. Now there are a lot like these quick controls, only instead of being able to adjust parameters, you're only able to adjust parameters within a VST. So we'll start with contact. And a lot of times you'll open up contact and it'll look like this. <clears throat> But if you go to the automation panel, there's two, uh, two tabs, MIDI automation and host automation. This host automation will show you uh, the levels that are assigned to your VST quick controls. So the interesting thing about this is that you do get more than eight because there's pages. And we can see over here, this is how it pans out. So since our knobs are our VST quick controls, this first one will be bass. And you can see it lighting up here on the left. Treble will be the second one. And you can see it on the instrument as well. Uh, reverb on and off is the next one. So if I turn it enough, reverb goes on. And then reverb size, reverb level. So you see those being adjusted here as I move the knobs. Um, and with the page, the pagination of it, you can go to page two and you'll see delay level. Uh, and when you're on page two, only these eight will work. So you can actually do more than eight with VST quick controls, but you can only do eight at a time. Uh, and if you ever wanted to reassign, uh, if you ever wanted to reassign parameters, it's just as you can use the remote control editor. So you just right click on your VST quick controls, go to remote control editor. Um, and so here's each so if on page two, if you wanted bass to be the first one on every page, you could just hit learn here, the L button. And instead of delay level, you click on it and you use it like a MIDI learn on the... So now it's bass. And if on page three, you want it to be bass, with learn still activated, you move the bass. And then the base is the first knob on every page. So you can do it that way as well. Um, and again, that's right clicking <clears throat> and going to control, remote control editor. And then it's basically like a MIDI learn for any of the host automation. But you can also apply MIDI automation uh, randomly if there's unassigned CCs in contact. 
So those are the important things to remember. If you go to Studio, Studio Setup, you can use MIDI Learn to assign your track controls and VST quick controls. And then the track uh, quick controls basically affect any parameter on this screen, or if you're in the mixer, uh, any of these parameters in each column. And the VST quick controls affect VST instruments. And it's important to remember that for VST quick controls, there's multiple pages. So you can affect many parameters as long as you're on the correct page. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.